Welcome into another edition of Bama Central 3 and Out with Joey Black on Tony Sukalis. I'm KD Windham, and we're now just one day away from the 2022 NFL Draft. As always, there's a lot of Alabama guys that are going to be up on the board, maybe uh, a few less in the first round than what we've seen some in recent years. But one of those guys who is for sure going to be a first-round pick is Evan Neal. But, Tony, there's also been some news swirling um, lately this week about um, maybe his health status. What do you kind of think about um, those players? What have you seen? The annual uh, injury news leak right on the, you know, you haven't heard anything about Evan Neal's uh, injury problems. He hasn't had any injury problems at Alabama. And all of a sudden, you know, week, week of the draft, three days before you start hearing these things, this is, this is normal. Um, Even if Evan Neal had something, I think we would have heard of it, you know, if it was anything big. Uh, So I don't think that that's anything to be concerned of. It's a lot of times this, this is a team wanting him to slide uh, if you look at a guy like Evan Neal, he does seem to be losing some of his draft momentum. So maybe this could contribute to a slide. The thing is, I don't see Evan Neal really going past number five to the Giants. I think that that'd be a steal for them at number five. Uh, maybe a team takes Ikonwu um, out of NC State as the first tackle. Uh, probably a better run blocker than Evan Neal. Evan Neal's a better pass blocker than him. So I I don't know. I, I would have Evan Neal as the top tackle, but maybe other teams would disagree. But I don't see him, pat, you know, getting past uh, New York at number five. There's there's other options that even after that at number six, you know, he really could go anywhere. That's the farthest he could fall. Maybe what do you think? Number nine. But that, that's crazy. I don't think he'll fall that far. So, um, yeah, I have him at number five. He could go in the top three. I mean, shoot, Houston could take him at number three. So, yeah. Um, that, that's, I wouldn't be worried from an Evan Neal perspective. Yeah, to quote, to quote my favorite saying from the uh, Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, uh, objection hearsay, uh, when, when, when in regarding this, I think it's all just speculation. I agree with you 100%, Tony. I think all this is just maybe a team leak this to try to get Evan Neal to slide. We all know that the Giants could use him at five. Um, the Seattle Seahawks certainly could use an offensive tackle, particularly a pass blocking one all the way down at number nine. Highly unlikely that he slides that far. But, you know, like you said, Tony, we see this kind of stuff every single year. Evan Neal has been one of the most steadfast offensive linemen for Alabama in recent memory. Never had any any, any knee issues, ankle issues, hip issues at all. And so for all this to come out now, when we just saw him at Pro Day just a, less than a month ago or so, and he looked great. Um, he's continued to look great at the Combine. So I say this is all hearsay and just more speculation trying to get him to slide and more than likely he's still going to go in the top five in this draft. He's just that good of a prospect. Yeah. And I mean, for all we know, it's not looking likely at this point, but I mean, there is still the potential that he could go number one overall, which would be a big storyline for the Crimson Tide. Like you said, he didn't have any big injury issues at Alabama. We've seen him do just freakish things at his size, like that video of him doing the split box jump that, you know, none of us could even come anywhere close to doing. Um, But it's definitely going to be um, an interesting storyline for Alabama and NFL fans heading into the draft, which begins on Thursday. And we'll have full coverage of everything Alabama and in the NFL draft here on Bama Central. For Joey Blackwell and Tony Sukas, I'm Katie Windham. Thanks for watching 3 and Out.